Hey guys, Bullet of Truth coming at you here. Today I want to talk about the ring, the wedding ring. You know, uh, you get these hypocrites who love to talk against name brand clothing, but then they themselves wear name brand clothing because there is no brand of clothing that you can wear these days that is no name. All clothing comes from a factory and it is all name brand unless you're wearing animal skin. But these hypocrites, they have tattoos on them, they wear the wedding ring, and then they speak against name brand clothing. Sitting there with name brand clothing on themselves like a hypocrite. But these people wear the wedding ring. Now for those of you who don't know, the wedding ring is actually, it comes from pagan tradition, it comes from Egypt. Okay, that's where, where the ring originated from. But before we start, I want to read a scripture here. 1 Timothy 2 verse 9, it says, In the like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with gold, pearls, or costly array. Now, that is gold, pearls, and costly array. Does this look like this is not gold, or pearls, or costly array? To me, it looks like it's costly array, and that goes against scripture. The Bible says that women ought not to dress like that, how much less the men. These days, the men even wear wedding rings, which never used to be the case. It's because men have been feminized. I mean, men don't grow beards anymore. Men shave. You know, men let the women run the show. But... Uh, you know, this is gold, pearls, and costly array. And it goes directly against what the Bible says we ought to be like. Now, let's take a look at what Wikipedia says about the ring. Okay, here we are on Wikipedia, the engagement ring. History, ancient times. Although ancient Egyptians are sometimes credited with having invented the engagement ring, and the ancient Greeks having adopted the tradition, the history of the engagement ring can only, re only be reliably traced back as far as ancient Rome. In many countries, engagement rings are placed over the finger nearest to the little finger on the left hand. Have you ever wondered why the wedding ring was placed on the left hand? On the on the on the finger next to the little finger it's because of this at one time it was believed that the finger contained the vein the the vena aroma aromas which we're all looking to now that led to the heart so they believed that finger had a vein that led directly to the heart this idea was popularized by henry da -da 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 -da, um, and so on and so on it goes now if we take a look under Wikipedia at Vena Aromas it says Vena Aromas is a Latin name meaning literally vein of love. Traditional belief established that the vein ran directly from the heart to the fourth finger of the left hand. Uh, this theory uh, this theory has been Cited in Western cultures as one of the reasons the engagement ring or wedding ring was placed on the fourth finger or the ring finger. This traditional belief is factually inaccurate as all the fingers on the hand have a similar vein structure. The earliest jewelry to signify the bonding was often chains or bracelets. That's how they used to... You know, when women or men were engaged, they used to wear chains and bracelets. This evolved into the use of the symbolic ring. In ancient Egypt, the sun and the moon guards were feared and worshipped. The ring was a symbol of these spirits. Hmm. The ring was the symbol of these spirits. Both of whom were related to the home and earth. The endless circle showed the nature of the bond, while the open center was meant to be a doorway to the unknown. Hmm. Ancient Egypt, that's what they believed. And that's where the ring originated from. So, if we take a look at this, they believed that the hollow middle was the doorway to the unknown. And then Christians adhered to this tradition 
you know, going to the pagan traditions, not even knowing, you know, what they're doing. Now, if we also read 1 Peter 3, from verse 1, it says, Likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they may also without the word be won over by the conversation of the wives, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Where is adorning, let it not be outward adorning of plaiting of hair or wearing of gold and putting of, of apparel, but let the hidden man of the heart, but let it be the hidden man of the heart that in which is not corruptible, even the ornaments of a wee, meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God a great price. So, this is not a meek and a quiet spirit. This is not, that ring does not symbolize a meek and a quiet spirit. Neither, Yahweh, it says, with adorning, let it not be outward adorning. Well, this is outward adorning. The ring is outward adorning. And it says, um, outward adorning of plaiting of hair and wearing of gold or putting on of apparel. And this is, you know, some rings are gold or silver. So this goes directly against what the word says. Now, you know, it just gets to me, these pagans, they want to speak against these kinds of all these brands of clothing but they themselves wear brands of clothing just because the brand of clothing isn't famous doesn't mean it's not a no-name brand you know if you wear a brand of clothing look at the label it's got a name on it now just because the label isn't famous doesn't mean that it's a no-name brand it was originated from a factory and every single pair of clothes you wear is a brand of clothes so these hypocrites that want to speak against famous name because somebody wears a better known brand of clothing but they themselves wear lesser known brands of clothing and then they sit there wearing these things that originated out of Egypt and the God says come out of Egypt. You know that he killed the firstborn of every Egyptian child and these are Egyptian traditions. So they make themselves a hypocrite. You know, the Bible says in Romans 12 verse 2, Be not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable in the perfect will of God. You know, now yes, <clears throat> you can wear this. All things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. But as for me and my household, as the word says, we will worship the Lord. So be careful what things you try and teach on and what you speak against when you yourself sitting there with a ring speaking against brands of clothes but you yourself wear brands of clothes just lesser known brands and sitting there wearing Egyptian rings hmm. which symbolize and give heed you know they, they, they give praise to pagan gods there's, I'll leave the link in the description box below. It says, let me read it again. The earliest of jewelry to signify the bonding, da 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 da, this evolved into the symbolic, uh, this involved into the symbolic ring in ancient Egypt. The sun and the moon gods were feared and worshipped. The ring was a symbol of these spirits. And so it evolved into the westernized culture and of course Christianity adhere to it and they did not um, be and, and most Christians today are not renewed by the tri by the renewing of the mind but they are conformed to the world and thus they wear these satanic rings 